from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I am delighted that you're here because here we help to improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career. By the way, attitude-wise, when people ask you, how's life, how's business, why not use one word? Unbelievable. With enthusiasm, nobody will know what you're up to, but they'll think you're doing great. At least you'll be alive. Everybody else looks like they're dead and they ought to be buried. I want you to be alive so people will think great things about you, your life, and your success. This is episode number 78 on Boaz Power TV, and it's called Stepping Up to the Wailing Wall. Stepping Up to the Wailing Wall. The experience I'm about to describe to you happened to me in 2003. It was incredible. You know, there are various pivotal points in life that stop us in our tracks and force us to look at the meaning of life. Marriage, the birth of a child, college graduation, a challenging illness. These are key moments that become deeply embedded in our mental bank of memories. Well, in that one night in 2003, I had one of those moments. I was born in Israel. My family had immigrated to the United States when I was nine in 1956. And that evening in 2003, as part of a group of 60 people from San Diego, I arrived back in Israel for the first time in 46 and a half years. I know I have no excuse for not having gone earlier. This was simply amazing, coming back to a place so far back in my history, yet so close to my heart. The moment I stepped on the soil of that ancient land, I knew I belonged. I reconnected with the land of my heritage. I reconnected with a missing piece of me. Is there some place or someone with whom you need to reconnect? Maybe before you finish listening to me, you know, I will have motivated you to reconnect with a missing piece of you. My group's mission in Israel was to show solidarity for the country and its people. We wanted to make a statement. We weren't afraid to come and visit no matter what. That was after several years of suicide bombings and all kinds of problems. Amazingly, there was a calm and peaceful feeling in the country. From the airport in Tel Aviv, our group was driven by tour buses to Jerusalem. Our plane had landed at 10 o'clock at night and we drove some 50 miles through the countryside and then up into the Judean hills. Now, as we began our ascent, David, our tour guide, pointed out wreckages of military vehicles at the side of the highway. These were now war memorials from Israel's War of Independence in 1948. Dramatically lit up at night, these were symbols of the courage, determination, and faith of the Jewish people. It was on May 14, 1948, that Israel was born. Five Arab armies, Egypt, Syria, Transjordan, Lebanon, and Iraq, immediately invaded the new country. Having no choice, the Jews defeated the much larger Arab forces and gave birth to their homeland. As I watched these sights on the road to Jerusalem, I couldn't help but admire the bravery that those people exemplified in 1948. I also thought about my father. He fought in that war of independence. The road to Jerusalem as it winds through difficult canyons was the scene of some of the toughest battles. Before long, we crested the hill, came down on the other side, and faced the gates of Jerusalem. Winding through the city, we came to a stop among ancient ruins and disembarked. Walking through a street lined with small shops, we came to an overlook, and that's when I saw it. Oh my gosh, down below, across a large and well-lit plaza, was the Wailing Wall, a worldwide symbol of a people who had survived incredible atrocities and created amazing victories. There was a lump in my throat, I gotta tell you, and an awe in my spirit. Our entire group walked down a few steps and, and each in our own way approached the wall. As is customary in Orthodox Judaism, the women and the men were separated by a partition. I've gotta tell you, I'm more spiritual than religious in my Judaism. However, at that moment, I was moved to stand close to the wall, close my eyes and say a prayer of appreciation. It was truly an amazing moment. Nearby, there was a place where people could make a contribution to a worthy cause. That's when I remembered the $20 bill 
that someone in the U.S. had given me some time back. Having heard about my upcoming trip to Israel, a man named Phil gave me the 20 and asked me to give it to a worthy cause in Israel. That moment by the Wailing Wall seemed quite appropriate. Now the western wall of the Judaic Temple, which was demolished in the first century AD, is on the southwestern slope of the Temple Mount. It is said to be what was left of Solomon's original temple after its destruction. The wall is constructed of large rectangular limestone rocks that came from nearby quarries. In the cracks between the rocks were thousands of pieces of paper folded and inserted in the crevices. These contained hopes and wishes and prayers of people from all walks of life. What's in the crevices of the wall of your life? Is there a hope or a wish that needs to be unfolded and brought to reality? Is there someone or some place or some dream that you need to reconnect with today? Why not do something about it right now? On that incredible summer night in Israel, I reconnected with something important in my life. I took something from my past and tied it in with my future in a defining moment that stirred my soul. I am here to stir your soul and take you to the next level. So here's an affirmation of reconnection. You may want to write it down, the affirmation for this message on Boaz Power TV. I am taking steps to reconnect with important aspects of my life. I am taking steps to reconnect with important aspects of my life. If you like these messages, and many people around the world do, please forward this to five people you know. Suggest they go to my website, boazpower.com, and why don't we have them subscribe to these free weekly broadcasts? Maybe we can help them to reconnect with a missing link in their life. Won't that be lovely? You are special. You are unique. I'm so glad you joined me. I see it in you. You are a champion, and you are destined for greatness. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.